Good morning. As we head into August, I wanted to provide our community a status update on our gaming compact negotiations. In early June, I announced that we had reached an agreement in principle with New York State on a new compact. While the state's negotiators had offered and agreed to an important provisions of a new agreement, the state assembly refused to move forward with required legislation allowing the governor to sign the agreement after it met approvals by the Seneca people and Department of Interior. We then worked furiously in the closing days of the assembly session to reach an agreement on a path forward. Unfortunately, the nation and the state could not come to an agreement on the matter of exclusivity, coming as close as a percentage point with our respective proposals before the assembly adjourned. With that, we agreed to resume discussions over the summer. Over the last several weeks, we have held roundtable discussions with elected leaders from our neighboring communities in Salamanca, Niagara Falls, and Buffalo to discuss the importance of our compact to their communities and to ask for their support for a fair and equitable agreement. These discussions were well received with our neighbors expressing their support and understanding to us. We were originally scheduled to meet with the state's negotiation team in late July, but that meeting had to be postponed because of schedule conflicts. We did meet with the state's team earlier this week, expecting to resume where we left off back in June. While we remain in agreement on a majority of points related to the compact, the matter of fair exclusivity value remains unresolved. New York State continues to propose exclusivity terms that are unfair and unacceptable to the nation. In fact, the state's latest proposal was significantly more than what they were proposing back in June. We believe that there is a benefit and a value to exclusivity for our gaming operations, but that value must be reasonably reflected in any payment agreement. With the monumental changes that have taken place in New York's gaming landscape since our, our current compact was signed, it is beyond unreasonable to expect that the nation would pay anything that exceeds the true value of what we are actually receiving in return. To do so would be ridiculous and unfair to our people and in conflict with the purpose and true intent of the Federal Indian Gaming Regulatory Act. Anything less than a fair agreement would surely fail to meet the required approval of the Department of Interior as well. Frankly, the New York negotiators to propose such outrageous terms, especially this far into the negotiation process, is absurd and an insult to the Seneca Nation. With that said, let me assure you that we are resolved to continue negotiating and defending our rights until a fair and reasonable agreement is reached. We plan to speak with New York's negotiators again next week. Our current compact expires four months from yesterday. That's just 122 days away. Any agreement still needs to be approved by our Seneca people, approved by the state, and submitted for federal review and approval. We need to keep moving forward. There is enough time to get this done, but we need a willing and reasonable partner at the table. The nation will keep the Seneca people updated as the negotiation process continues. Yahweh.